Natalie Sidesurf here, Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a tissue box cake. This cake is a little different from my other cakes. Uh, there is a little bit of a backstory to this one, so let me explain. On July 9th, 2020, I came across a tweet that was posted by Maureen Monahan, and it was a video of her struggling to cut through a real box of tissues with a knife. The tweet said, unbelievable cake. So this was a joke referencing all the viral realistic cake cutting videos that were popping up all over the internet. And what's really crazy is many of those realistic cake videos were actually videos of my cakes. So I found her joke to be absolutely hilarious. So I had to respond. So I replied to her tweet with a video that showed a bunch of my cakes being cut. And I said, I literally make cakes like this for a living. So this really speaks to me. Well, my reply and the video ended up getting over 17 million views, and it contributed to the Everything is Cake meme. So that is why I've decided to recreate my own tissue box cake. Only this one's real. So back to the cake. Here my cake is covered in gray modeling chocolate, and I'm using sculpting tools to just clean up the edges a bit, and I'm sharpening the corners, trying to make this box shape as perfect as I can get it. I'm going for hyper-realism here, so that means that I need to include these little plastic triangles that hold the tissues in place. To make edible plastic, I'm using gelatin. So I sprinkle 14 grams of gelatin over a half a cup of water, and I stir it. Once it's mostly mixed, then I let the gelatin bloom for a few minutes. That just means you let it sit there. <laughs> then I go and I heat it up in the microwave until all the gelatin is dissolved in the water. You may have some bubbles and some foam around the edges. All you have to do is take a spoon and you just scrape them right out. Then I just pour it directly onto a sheet of clean acetate. And I want this to be super thin, so I'm spreading the gelatin across the acetate by literally picking it up and just rocking it back and forth. I have an even more elaborate video showing how I use gelatin to decorate cakes, so I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. The gelatin is spread out, it's nice and thin, so now I just set it aside to dry overnight. In the meantime, let's turn this gray rectangle cake into a tissue box by adding some details. With sculpting tools and a blade, I'm just scoring the chocolate to look as if it's a folded cardboard box, just like the real tissue box. To keep it from looking too heavy and bulky, I'm making these marks super thin and delicate. Tissue boxes are made of a very, very thin cardboard. I cut an oval hole out of the top, then I scoop some of that cake out, and I fill it with modeling chocolate. This will give the illusion of it being filled with tissues. Now that the edible plastic gelatin is dry, it peels right off that acetate, and that is how you make edible plastic. Super easy, and it looks amazing. Now it's time to cut it into triangles. So I want it to look just like the real tissue box, so I made a parchment stencil, and I'm using it as a guide. Before I add my edible plastic, I'm spraying a square sheet of edible wafer paper with a few squirts of water on each side. The water is gonna keep the wafer paper from cracking, and that allows me to shape it easier. I just place the edible paper right on top, and then I add my edible plastic triangles. It's finally coming together. So most tissue boxes have patterns on the outside, so I'm just hand painting some simple flower patterns right onto the box. I really like this addition. Everything else on this tissue box is so perfectly measured and exact, but this pattern is more loose and kind of free form, so it's a nice little juxtaposition. And there you have it, a tissue box cake. So I'm going to cut this cake alongside the video that inspired it.
<laughs> that video will forever be funny to me. This cake has edible cardboard, it has edible plastic, and it has edible paper. I'm about to open an edible office supply store. <laughs> All right, friends, like this video, subscribe to this channel. We put out a new cake video every Monday. <laughs>